Hey everyone, David here from INN again out front of CitizenCon like I'm going to be all day because why not? Uh, with me is Mr. Akarok. Akarok, how are you doing? I'm doing great. CitizenCon, how can I not be? Uh, what brings you to CitizenCon? Star Citizen, Squadron 42, and whatever news they've got for us. I I'm trying to see the most ridiculous answers I get. I've had airplane, um, feet, things like that. So, um, now, you're one of, the, one of the bigger backers of Star Citizen. How did that come about? Started small, continued backing, uh, worked my way up just bit by bit. Uh, cut back cell phone bills, money I was wasting on other games that don't deserve it nearly as much, and just every month contribute what I can. So what are you up to now? How many shifts about? How do you got? Somewhere about 116 ships, I think. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, it's, um, and I know we've had this discussion a few times, but yeah. there's, there's a lot of people that I, I've donated what I can to the project. I can't contribute any more money. So thank you for being able to, to support the project as much as you do. No, oh, thank you. Uh, it's what I can do. I'm not a content creator. I don't have the uh, talent to create and to provide to the community. So if I can contribute a little bit of my money, or a lot of my money in this case, I'm happy to do it. So you've been at most of the other citizen cons, right? Yeah, I've been to all four. Austin, Los Angeles, Manchester, and now Los Angeles again. What are you expecting this year? Squadron 42, uh, the mission that was mentioned in uh, Chris's Gamer Nexus, the Homestead Planet reveal, and then I'm hoping for some what was Organization 2.0 and uh, is now the co new communication platform, because as an org officer, that's a pretty big deal for me. Now, of those things, what are you most excited to see? Maybe not for you yourself, but for growth of Star Citizen itself. It's got to be for the Planetary 2.0. I mean, that's unprecedented. We've, we're talking about a planet with multiple biomes that's a quarter of the scale of a real world. I can't comprehend it, much less understand the repercussions or the, uh, what it means for gaming going forward. So it's setting the bar really high, and uh, it's going to be exciting. Do you think this is going to be some, like, what do you think the general population will think of Star Citizen after tonight? Do you think this will change the conversation at all around the game? I think it will, but it's hard to say. I mean, the people that still claim it's a scam, still claim it's fake, I don't know how you can think that already, so I don't know if today will necessarily change it, but I think it's going to uh, open a lot of eyes, I think it's going to bring a lot of the general population in, and I think it's going to scare the ever-living bejeebus out of all the other companies who give us half-assed projects. Well said. Um, how many Polaris's have you bought? I've only got one, contemplating a second, but I gotta find out if there's another secret ship today first. Now, you have 116-odd ships, you said. Um, what's your favorite ship? Oh, oh man. Endeavor. Endeavor? Endeavor, that Hope Hospital variant is just too good to pass up. Uh, the idea of running a hospital in a video game while flowing through space or flying through space is just crazy. You're a man after my own heart. Akarok, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you. Have a great one. See you in the verse. Stand straight.